surrounding the Golden Gate simply disappear. Phyllis, Phyllis, who makes the warning bells on the cable cars play the gangs all here. Phyllis, Phyllis, who charms the crabs on fishermen's wharf right out of their shells. Who lights the lamps of Chinatown just by walking in view. Hi, staff. Hi. Hi. After having wined and dined and romanced your boss, I am delivering her back to you in somewhat the same condition as I found her. Uh, Jerry, uh, would you be willing to sign a petition for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, don't you want to know what it's for? I know you, Phyllis. That's good enough for me. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Something loony, right? Uh, Goodbye, Phyllis. Goodbye. I'll call you later. Okay. Julie, 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 Julie. Julie, Julie. Phyllis, have you got something on your mind? Julie, Jerry, Jerry, Julie. Phyllis. Jerry, Julie. Phyllis. <laughs> You're really stuck on him, aren't you? Phyllis, haven't you got anything better to do? I could tell by the way you kissed him. <laughs> Phyllis, if Quasimodo had brought me a $30 lunch, I would kiss him exactly the same way. No, you wouldn't. You couldn't even get your arms around him. <laughs> Phyllis, I am not in love with Jerry. We're friends, we go out, we have a couple of laughs, and that's it. If you ask me, Leo, I think our B-O-S-S -S is in L-O-V-E. Come again? <laughs> I adore this dress, Jonathan. Jonathan, but it's so expensive. You really shouldn't have. Phyllis, you picked the restaurant. <laughs> Did I? Well, you only live once. <laughs> Sometimes it seems more than enough. <laughs> Well, they're supposed to serve every kind of fish in the sea here. I can't imagine why we haven't been here before. You hate fish. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Have you made up your mind about my petition, Jonathan? You being a judge and all, your signature would be especially valuable. Uh, is that the one for Alcatraz? Yes, it's very, very worthwhile. You don't have to recommend the place to me, dear. I used to send people up there all the time. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. What's the matter? That's Jerry over there. Julie's Jerry. Well, he's with someone else. Hope he doesn't see me. Why, aren't you supposed to be with us? <laughs> what should I do? Should I let him see me? And if he does see me, should I seem not to have seen him? <laughs> and if he sees that I've seen him, should I wait and see whether he pretends not to see me? Well, I don't think you have much choice, dear. The man is waving at you. Oh, dear. What a nice surprise. Audrey, this is Jerry Morrison, Mrs. Dexter, Judge Dexter. How do you do? How do you do? How do, you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. This is uh, Vanessa Wallenbach. This is uh, Phyllis Lindstrom. How do you do? Hello. This is Dexter. How do you do? Judge. Miss Wallenbach. <laughs> Don't disturb your dinner. We just wanted to say hello. Nice to have met you. Very nice to have met you. Very nice to have met you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Vanessa Wallenbeck. Why are you upset, dear? Jerry was supposed to be going with Julie, and now he turns up here with her wearing that. <laughs> Tell me what that adds up to. Phrase none of your business leaps to mind. <laughs> No, it's probably perfectly innocent. Otherwise, he wouldn't have brought her to our table. But you see, that's exactly what he would do, to make it look innocent. I think he is innocent. Jonathan, what do you think? I think that's the biggest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What's the slogan for this one, Leah? Phyllis. This one has a touch of genius in it. 
If your chute won't open, don't despair. When they find your body, they'll love your hair. <laughs> Zip up his jumpsuit, will you, fellas? Don't <laughs> oh, oh, move! Uh, keep the smile. Phyllis, what's the matter with you? I have to talk to someone. Talk to Seymour. <laughs> Leo, I have to talk to you. Seymour, take a break. Be sure you don't fall on your hair. I'll try. Leo, I've had a terrible shock. I couldn't sleep all night. Jerry, Julie's Jerry, has another woman. I saw him with my own eyes last night at the Seafood Palace. Well, let me tell you, I was shattered. I'd ordered a, a, an expensive seafood plate I couldn't eat. Mm -hmm. Just toyed with my clams. Picked up my sturgeon. Played with my prawns. I get the idea, Phyllis. What do we do, Leo? What do I tell Julie? I have to think of what's best for her. If I tell her, it'll only hurt her. But if I don't tell her, she'll only find out with someone else, and then it'll hurt her even more. Well, I know I wouldn't tell her anything. Not a word, out of loyalty. Loyalty? Yeah. I'd never rat on another guy. I know what I'm going to do. For once in my life, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm just going to butt out and not get involved. Morning. Julie. 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 Oh, Phyllis, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh, come on. You can't hide anything from you. <laughs> to tell you something something that will hurt you terribly I'd rather have my tongue torn out than have you hurt me too <laughs> Julie hold on to me and, and hold on tight we're about to climb aboard an emotional roller coaster and I'll help you take the shock wouldn't it be more fun with dates <laughs> Julie hold on get ready here it comes Jerry seeing another woman <laughs> That's it. We'll cry together and share the pain. Why do I only hear one of us crying? Phyllis Jerry's a big boy now. He's got his own life, so he's seeing someone else instead of me. Big deal, so what? Who cares? Did you tell her? Well, how'd she take it? Worse than I expected. <laughs> she's, she's trying to hide it, but she's really suffering. It's all because of that big, dumb, stupid jerk. You call me? <laughs> I tell you, the man you love is seeing someone else, and you shrug it off. Don't you understand? You've been betrayed. You should be upset, miserable, hysterical, ready to kill yourself. Phyllis, why do you want to see me upset, miserable, hysterical, and ready to kill myself? Because I'm your friend. <laughs> why are you pretending not to care? Because I don't care. Of course you care. If you didn't care, why would I be acting like this? Look at me. My hands are trembling. My, my face is flush. Gee, I didn't realize I was in such bad shape. <laughs> the truth. Doesn't it bother you that at this very moment, Jerry and that Vanessa may be sitting at some little cafe, holding hands, sipping wine? No, it doesn't. Julie, at this very moment, he may be gazing into her eyes, stroking her hair, kissing her behind her ears, caressing the nape of her neck. It's not getting you jealous? No, it's getting me excited. <laughs> All right. I tried. Tried to be your friend. You want to stay closed up? It's your life. Phyllis, wait a second. <sighs> suppose, just suppose that I, I 
did feel the way you say. Look at this to do to talk about it, to tell people about it. Maybe if you told Jerry about it. Maybe if you told him how you feel about it. Maybe he wouldn't want to see anybody else. You know, Phyllis, it, uh, it, it does bother me when Jerry goes out with other women. That's it. Open up, Julie. Let it all come out. <laughs> I mean, uh, in fact, I hate it. Right. Just the thought of him going out or, or touching another woman, anybody but me, drives me up the wall. Of course it does. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a burning inside me, just uh, eating away at my gut. I, I want to scream. I want to moan. I want to wail. I want to beat my head against the wall. Julie, calm down. <laughs> Making a fool of yourself. <laughs> Have a nice day, dear. One of the most satisfying days of my entire life. Do you know what it's like to change someone's entire attitude toward life and love? Well, I had a cat spade once. <laughs> no, Audrey. I made Julie face up to her own emotions for the first time in her whole life. I made a totally new person out of her. I, I feel like Rex Harrison in, in My Fair Lady. Oh, I love My Fair Lady. How does that song go again? I've grown accustomed to her face. No, no, that's not... <laughs> I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. No, no, that's not... <laughs> I think she's got it, but I'm sure she's got it. No. <laughs> oh, I remember. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. <laughs> anyway. Tonight, Julie is seeing Jerry. And she's going to be absolutely honest with him about her feelings. Isn't that marvelous? Well, if you want my opinion, Phyllis, I'm not so sure that complete honesty between a man and a woman is always the best policy. Oh, come now, Jonathan. You and Audrey get along splendidly, and you don't hide anything from each other. Uh, that's not quite true. I'll give you a little example, an unimportant one, but it'll make the point. I always tell Audrey that her chocolate macaroons are delicious. Well, they are good, aren't they? <laughs> because I know how long it takes you to make them, and she only does it for me, so I always tell her I like them. As a matter of fact, I don't like them at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear, but I think it's important to make this point with Phyllis. So, now, you see how a little white lie can be helpful to a relationship. You don't like my chocolate macaroons? <laughs> Frankly, no, dear. All this time, you've let me go on baking them, thinking I was making you happy. How could you do that to me, Jonathan? Audrey, dear, I, I love your pecan pie. A man who would lie about a macaroon would lie about anything. <laughs> Do you need any more examples, Phyllis? No, no, Jonathan. You've made your point extremely well. If we're going to be truthful, we better both be truthful. You know that aftershave lotion you use you think I love? Yeah. Well, I only like it. <laughs> You sure know some offbeat places. Well, you can't beat really good Ethiopian cooking. <laughs> Would you like a drink? No, I, I can't. I've got to be up early tomorrow. I can only stay a minute. Oh, you're going to leave? Actually, I think people get too much sleep anyway. <laughs> Jerry, I, uh, there's something very important I'd, I'd like to uh, discuss with you. Uh, It'll only take a minute. I want to talk about something. I want to talk about us. 
Well, what's there to talk about? You're you, and uh, I'm me, and uh, we're us. <laughs> That's it. That's not it. There's something building up right here, and I gotta let it out. That Ethiopian food will do it every time. <laughs> I'm serious. I always kid around instead of telling you what I really feel, and that's wrong, Jerry. <laughs> At this very moment, every instinct I have wants to make a joke. But instead, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't like it when you go out with other women. And the reason for that is that I'm jealous. And the reason for that is that I love you. Oh! 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 You don't have to say that if you don't mean it. Oh, Julie, I, I know what I'm supposed to say now. I am supposed to say, I love you, too, I can't say it, Julie. I understand. Some people just have difficulty in saying the words, I love you. Oh, I can say the words. I love you, Julie. See, I can say it fine. I just can't feel it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Julie. I'm not that sort of a guy. I mean, if you want me to tell you I love you, I'll tell you I love you. But I want to be honest with you, Julie. I like you too much to tell you I love you. I'll get it. Interrupting anything? No, no. As a matter of fact, I was just leaving. It's, uh, it's nice to see you, Phil. Oh. Julie, I'll, uh... I'll, uh, walk downstairs and get a cat. What are you doing here? I was worried about the advice I gave you, and I... I, I just wanted to find out what happened. Well... I opened up the way I never opened up in my life. I told him I loved him. What did he say? He was very straightforward. He said he didn't love me. I, in a way, you got to respect him. I mean, it's not his fault he doesn't love me. Absolutely right. Hey, Cabby, you're transporting vermin! <laughs> If I am in any way responsible for what transpired here this evening, I want you to know I am truly sorry. You're not to blame. I, I did this because it was something I had to do. You didn't do it because I advised you to? Of course not. What kind of an idiot do you take me for? <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Who is it? Jerry, I need a cab. Build one. I, I can't face him. I mean, how many times Julie, do you have Julie. to listen to a guy explain to you why he can't love you? Why don't you go in your bedroom? I will handle it. No, I... Please, I, Julie, I want to. Okay. You'll have to excuse Julie. She, uh... She's gone to her room. A, a heel has stepped on her heart. <laughs> Why are you acting as if I did something wrong? I didn't. You mean you didn't do anything wrong? No. I don't feel the same way that Julie feels about me. What was I supposed to do? Tell her I love her just because she says that to me? I'd be saying that to women all day. You really think you haven't done anything wrong? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis, I am not responsible for what other people feel. Are you sure? You didn't call her late at night and tell her you were thinking about her? A couple of times. Did you send her that love note with a picture of Rod McEwen hugging his cat? 
So? And didn't you talk about taking her on a vacation to Europe? I guess so. Okay. So, you give her gifts, promises, talk about your future together, and then you act surprised when she says she loves you. I think you wanted that all along. I think this isn't the first time this has happened. I think you are loathsome. <laughs> loathsome is too strong. How about not nice? I'll accept not nice. Just spinning a glass of water. Nobody has to notice I'm here. What's wrong? Oh, while we were talking this evening, we agreed that what he has done was loathsome. Uh, not nice. I stand for it. Jerry, you look worse than me, and I'm the one who got the axe tonight. Julie, I didn't give you the axe. All I said was I didn't love you. Yet. Thanks for dropping by, Phyllis. You've really been a great help. I see you <laughs> guess you don't want me to stay, I guess. <laughs> Leo. Yeah. Boy, this hairspray really works. Look. <laughs> How did you get this one? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You know, it was there was no light. So what I did was, was open the aperture up all the way, and then I... But look, every hair on his little head is in place. You're watching ALN. Here's what's coming next.